This is a choreography analysis with Elliot Buvovich. I'll explain why I did that later, okay? All right, so, hey guys, Elliot here. Hope you guys are doing okay. When I first started my Patreon, I said the first 10 Patreon subscribers will get their own choreography analysis video of their choice. I got my first 10 subscribers and I just wanna say thank you guys so much for believing in my content. I wanted to start today and the first Patreon recommendation goes to EV. And EV recommended 17 Pretty You. Yeah, I've seen this video before but at that time i was like a little bit i was still new to k-pop and i wasn't used to seeing like this whole like egg yo this like cute style and coming back to this i'm really excited to see my perception and how how much it's changed so far you see egg yo everywhere i got a ton of requests on my youtube comments and on my twitter and yo uh i'm kind of excited so before we get into everything my name's elliot i'm a dancer for a living if you guys are familiar with this channel i like doing these k-pop style choreography analysis videos and just a lot of dance related video content it's just a huge passion of mine to mix these two elements of dance and film together if you guys like what i do on this channel please support me on my patreon at patreon.com slash elliot new village i really appreciate it um Moving on. So this is 17 Pretty You Choreography Analysis. Here we go. I like how they opened up like a curtain. And I like how they're actually using a whole ass couch. <laughs> it's really clever. That's pretty tight. Okay. Th uh, again, I always stop it before Vernon gets into it. But notice how in this routine, compared to all other routines, this one seems a very, very like performance. Like it's almost like, like a kind of like a Broadway musical in a sense, just by like all the acting, even from the people on the side too. If you notice, we got like all this acting on the side. If you see Sun Quan with Escus. They're just acting everywhere. There's no like dead spots in the choreography. The And I like the musicality that they chose, the beats that they choose. There's like a ton of facials in this too. I thought that was really smooth too. <laughs> Vernon always has like the swag versus Ooh. I like the dynamic pace too. That's pretty tight. This is the only part that I remember from watching it. It was the choreography in the chorus. And just probably because it's like very iconic because the legs. Can I see that again? Can I see that again? That was pretty cool. I think this part is just very memorable. You don't see moves like that often. The song is like super catchy too. Like for Chung Han. Or Chung Han. This part is like super egg yo. Oh, yo, do you guys see that? <laughs> see, bruh, you dropped the book on the beat, look. <laughs> that was pretty tight. The choreography is very, like, interpretational, too. Dang, let's go, DK. I like how it gets really soft in this part too, in the chorus. Ooh, that was pretty tight. Ooh, 
Ooh, I like how they split the couch. I would have thought it was just one whole couch. The blocking is like super clean. Super clean and just like super smooth. Like you just... You just don't know where they're coming from. Oh, I like how they brought it back to the court to the chorus choreography. This breakdown though. It's like way different. A little hip thrust too. Yo, out of all the whole like dance analysis videos that I've done, I feel like this one was just so engaging. I did not pause it as much as my other videos. And I think it's because the way they laid out the performance, that the style that they made it, it was very like, like, like a Broadway musical, you know? There's like so many variables like on the side of the stage that aren't even supposed to be the main focus. There's like all this like acting, there's just so much going on that you just can't just stop and sit. You have to like keep searching, keep searching for like the little clues too. Things that I really thought was cool was the fans. <laughs> That were supposed to be center stage. <laughs> or that was a center stage marker. Really dope. That was really cool. I really like it. It was like super like everything overall was just like really engaging front to back. And I could see why a lot of people decided to recommend it. Because it was like so different compared to their other 17 choreographies. It seems like this one seemed very, very like conversational. Like every single move they did was interpretational to the lyrics, a lot of facial expressions, which makes sense because if you're going to have an Egyo theme like this, like you wanna be cute, you wanna talk to the camera. Very different. Even the song was catchy too. Songs like these, it's always talking about like the feeling of being in love. And that's what Pretty is talking about is like, it's talking about like the, the dilemma of like feeling love for the first time and, and the difficulty of like explaining it and having to figure out like, what is this feeling? And I really like that because if you look, if you match the lyrics with the movement, it's all interpretational. It just goes well with it. Maybe I'll add captions. This is really cool though. I really like this routine, this performance actually, not just a routine. This is not just a routine. And I, and I, ah, okay, all right, I'm gonna shut up. The curtains, which makes sense because it's like a Broadway musical. And they utilize the couch a lot. Look at the A and Dino on the side. Of course, I'm a big fan of their combos. Oh wait, hold on. Can I add this part? Can I talk about this part right here? The foot tap. And the angle that they kick, none of them are too, none of them is too high, none of them is too low. They kick at the right angle. A lot of practice for that one too. And that was really sick too. It was just like, <laughs> I thought this that transition the way they soloed out DK that's very pleasing to the eye and the way they transition the idols off and on the couch it's like super super what's the word nonchalant because you just like never see you never see it This part, super like interpretational too. Again, another part talking about studying. This part's interpretational as well. And DK with the feels, I like that. I like for Woozy.
Oh, can we also like it? That's the first time I ever I've ever done a video. I think it's the first time I've ever done a video where Chong On had long hair. He's a long haired mod. First time. All right, moving on. Super, super slick on that transition. Okay, if you guys noticed, there's like a ton of like shopping carts in this dance, a ton, right? But what's great about like how they choreographed it is like the way they push the idol's main focus is that you never even notice these shopping carts. I'm personally in dance, I am not a big fan of shopping carts because I feel like it's just so intrusive. It just doesn't mesh well with the choreography. As far as the main choreography that's going on, it doesn't mesh well. I'm not a big fan of shopping carts, okay? But what's great about shopping carts is if it's done correctly and done at the right pace, it does not show at all. Super clean on the shopping carts, especially in this segment. Over here, it just rolls very well with the music and it rolls very well with how they transitioned the rest of the idols. It's very like poetic the way they just brought them in. And the way they transitioned Woozy. Super pleasing to the eye. Nice breakdown too. Oh, really dope. That was 17 Pretty You, uh, the second run. I've noticed like so much more the second time. Like I said, a very like egg yo, very cute style. And because of that reason, you have like all these conversational moments in the choreography that they're talking straight directly to you. But also the movements are aimed directly to you, the audience um, is talking about pretty you, pretty you. The theme was a really good choice and also engaging the audience as a viewer. This is not my type of style of music, of K-pop music. This is not my type of style of like choreography, but I enjoyed it like beginning to end. <laughs> And I could see why everyone decided to recommend it. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. EV, you're a real one for this. I appreciate that. Every 17 choreography is different from one another. It's not rinse and repeat. This one definitely stood out compared to the rest. They weren't just trying to hit hard choreography. They weren't just trying to hit dope combos. This time around, they said, you know what? I want to utilize something that's more than dance the performance aspect of dance, like acting, visuals, and like expression and emotion. Like if you notice, probably when they just pull out DK, DK didn't have to do that, <laughs> but he did. Cause it went with the music, it went with the performance. He's, t he's talking about what words do I choose? Like it's so hard for me and that's why I'm on my knees. It's great, it's great, everything is great. And just like um, the way they move like on and off stage and the way they interact with one another, it's very like brotherly like. It goes well with the visual, it just goes well with the theme of the performance. And even the small movements that they do to complement the vibe of the song when it slows down notice how like even they sway it's like the little things that count uh what is my favorite part of the choreography anything that involved the couch was really cool because obviously they never use like the I haven't ever seen them use like props. I guess in this case, like the couch would be considered a prop. I've never seen props um, used uh, in 17 choreography. These guys like utilize it to the fullest. They even use illusions like this segment right here. Like they even decided to use illusions in that segment. Oh, like for the eight, I thought that part was just like super fun. <laughs> Okay, okay, I think that's about it. Th those are my closing thoughts. Super different, definitely this like musical performance vibe. And I'm always a big fan of something, of things that are just more than dance. I I've always been about like, how could you invest in the artist 
outside of how good and intricate their choreography is and it's about like that performance aspect like can I give you more than just cool moves and cool combos and boom right here super engaging thank you guys thank you Evie so much for this video recommendation and I'm glad it was my first one it goes on really my thing you know but this is tight <laughs> tough thank you 17 um, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it, okay? Please, man, don't dislike it, okay? I'm putting a lot of effort into these videos, okay? But then I can't blame you. Who am I to say what you can or can't do? Please subscribe for more content. And if you like what I do on this channel, please support me on Patreon. I'll leave the link in the description. Patreon.com slash Elliot New Village. I would really appreciate it. Really. So thank you guys. Uh, is that it for me? Uh, another AGO moment. Here we go. Thank you guys. <laughs> I'm going to regret that. Okay, bye.